Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Get early access to all of our interviews, including the monthly Chichester chats with writer and comic book legend DG Chichester, new episodes of classic Capes and Lunatics shows, including The Quantum Zone, This That or the Third, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, full video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes, or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. Uh, welcome to a new Capes and Lunatics show, the WWE Report. Uh, of course, everyone, if you've watched this channel, you know me, Phil. Uh, it's been a while, but you may know this wrestling fan, my son Luca. And of course, you can't see him right now, but uh, we'll be joined by my nephew Christian. Hey, Christian. Howdy, boys. Hey. So, yeah, I mean, I watched as a kid and I was out for a while and, uh, and then I've been back in. Luca, you've been watching for what, like a year? But then you've been watching all the old stuff too on YouTube, and Christian, I I think uh, I, you've been watching wrestling since I've known you. Yeah, I'm OG. Oh yeah, I'm as long as I can remember, I've been going and, and watching, and used to dress up at ha- for Halloween as. Uh, I remember, know, I remember that John Cena costume. I remember. I was Jeff Hardy a couple times, dyed the hair, so yeah, good times. <laughs> yep. All right, so yes, the plan here, everyone, is uh, we're gonna we do this once a month or so around the big events, and of course this time, yeah, we're gonna start off with uh, yeah, 2024's Crown Jewel from uh, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. So it was a great event. Yeah, it was. It was again, and we got the first time champs for those belts, and those belts were impressive. <laughs> yeah, you, why do you think they don't let them leave the country? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Those those things were impressive. They're going in the launder lock and key, and then they get to take home the yeah, like the those, rings. Those are going to be under high security. <laughs> oh yeah, they said they're they're literally locked in a vault, and people can do yeah, the they're tours. Replacing with the rings instead. They said they're going to stack up the rings. Oh my lord! There's so many uh, stones and stuff on this. The only downside of these ones in Riyadh are the uh, the early start times. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one o'clock. I mean, it wasn't Which bad. Aren't for always us, but... terrible. But... Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Because it's such a time difference. Yeah, because I looked it up. It was like eight o'clock that night there. That's why they started at one o'clock. Yeah, which is crazy. It's that much of a time difference. Well, you know what? If we would have been on the West Coast, it would have been ten a.m. <laughs> exactly. I, I would have never been able to do that. <laughs> that is nuts. Uh, but yeah, did you see that? Uh, did they? Did you see anything with that WWE experience they have over there? I saw a little bit of it. I didn't get to see too much, but uh, I saw a lot of the clips and that. The, all those experiences that they set up are just phenomenal. Yeah, they need I mean, them. The stores and all everything that goes with it. I mean, those are. I, we need to make a trip to one of those. I wish they would bring more of those, you know, out our our way. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, we we need those out here. For real, we get no love. We get the most love well, we got was Philadelphia. Well, I, I know that. Well, at least they do it out there because you know WWE comes out there what once a year. So. Yeah. Right. So I mean, they deserve it. Oh, yeah. We are a little spoiled in the the U.S., but I mean. That's the ones you can travel to all the, you know, the, one, the big <laughs> <Yeah>. ones here. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. All the big, you know, all the big events coming up. Just uh, WrestleMania in Las Vegas in what, April? Uh, yeah. That, that's that one's crazy. Gonna, I'm sure they're going to go pretty huge for that one. It was supposed to be in the Minnesota, I'm pretty sure, but they couldn't secure a venue or something for mm. two days. I'm pretty sure that's what it was originally supposed to be. Last, last okay. match of John Cena. Oh yeah, John Cena's retiring. Yeah, yeah, the retire the the last year of Cena. That, that's a heartbreaking one for me. That was my uh, champ growing up. Obviously, I always liked Jeff Hardy more because he was just my favorite. But John Cena was always that guy that was carried the WWE. So that, that was yeah. gonna be tough watching well, him go. Well, yeah, they said John Cena's going. I guess he's going out because he's gonna be fifty. 
Yeah, and he's he's still got I'm sure more movies, and it's too hard to put everything. Oh yeah, everything together for him. You know, he especially wants to... still trying to build a family. I think <laughs> probably yeah yeah yeah. But no, I was telling Luca like when I oh, I watched as a kid, and like when I first stopped watching, it was around the time the Undertaker first started. Oh. I said I said he I said they treated him like the Wyatt Six. They're like, what is this guy? Is he a zombie? For real, what is like this he's guy? like yeah. not human. <laughs> yeah yeah, they're like, what is this? Is he a zombie? Is he this? I saw a clip of uh, Umaga yesterday, actually. I don't know. If, Luca, you know who Umaga is? Yeah. Yeah, I saw a clip of him. They made him kind of like that, too, for the longest time. <laughs> he didn't talk. He spoke like this, like, crazy, like, superhuman language. And then one of the final clips, one of his last matches, he spoke his, you know, final first line of English ever. And that was, like, all I can remember ever hearing of him talking English. It was just it was crazy because they do do that. Well, yeah, that's like the Undertaker. The first time he, the first couple times he showed up, I don't think he said a word. Or the Great Kali. <laughs> <laughs> no one could ever understand him, but they're always scared of him and thought he was superhuman. Like, mm. Oh gosh, not this guy. All right, let's jump into some of these matches. This is this is crazy. Well, yeah, lots to talk about in these matches. All right, so all right, no keeper. When was the first one? Oh, of course. I'm gonna get first match. Jay, Jimmy. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. And I wonder who you were. I wonder who you were rooting for, Mister Yeet Shirt. Yeah, well, I'm wondering who uh, you were pulling for in that one. <laughs> Took a few crazy turns for sure. I don't. It definitely didn't end how I was expecting, but I, it, mm-hmm. it makes sense in the long run of things. What What did you think? You dressed as Roman Reigns for Halloween. What do you think? Uh, I know you're not too happy. You would have went out there if you could have. Speak, speak. Mama, I. I um, like that. Usos and that double team. I'm glad they're back together. To be honest, it was a long time. I didn't really like them too much their first go around, just because it's just kind of when I got back into it again, and I didn't really know too much about them besides when they were wrestled way long ago. So it's good to see them back. I was surprised about the whole Sammy, you know. Oh, Sammy Zayn, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't anticipating him helping them out, so I was kind of glad to see him. You know, help Roman and them out as well, even though they, you know, still didn't get the the W. Yeah, because they saw they saw Sammy's. Yeah, they caught Sammy Zayn not too long ago. Yeah, in the solo. Yeah, so the solo in the back. So I was like, okay, this isn't good. He's about to you know, set him up or something. So mm-hmm. I think Survivor Series we're gonna see that four v four. That's what I'm thinking. They built that up for. Oh yeah, there you go. What do you think? I think my bloodline expert. All I'm saying is I. I want that match so badly. <laughs> one thing, one thing too. Don't let this slip because I bet you this is going to be a big storyline after uh, what happened today. Bet you KO f- flips on Sami Zayn. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. He helped Roman, and he's snapping out on everybody now mm-hmm. for turning on him. Well, KO's going to go after everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, if he's not suspended for yeah. <laughs> Him, it's uh, him and Randy doing that whole ordeal. <laughs> that was crazy. I know. It, yeah, that wasn't even a match. I'm telling you, yeah. that even rang. <laughs> For real, that was crazier than the match. Uh, and then KO's like, oh, I think I broke my ribs. <laughs> yeah, uh, that swanton through the tables for them two old old heads was pretty nuts. <laughs> yeah, They Rick, delivered a great match. Yeah, they said, what, Randy Orton's like the oldest active guy right now? Yeah, and it's crazy the shape he's in because he's in like the best shape he's ever been in. He's I like know that's what they that's what they were saying. I think they were saying the last night too, and today they're like they're like, man, he's bigger than he's ever been. <laughs> yeah, that's it's like that's crazy. He just keeps growing. Well, I guess you gotta do that if you're gonna go through tables and. Yeah, I mean, at your age, I mean, you think about it, the older you get, the more you kind of gotta keep in shape, <laughs> especially mm. if you're doing that at least. I mean, oh yeah, yeah. Tables. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to add some more meat to the bone. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i mean yeah that wasn't even a match that was just a massacre and people all around were getting uh slaughtered uh you know that arcade to pierce was nuts <laughs> <laughs> i know out of pierce got it. <laughs> yeah, that was great i'm sure we're gonna hear about that on monday <laughs> oh absolutely i'm looking forward to it taking out the raft everything <laughs> <laughs> oh that was wild that was madness oh so what else what other matches we get um, um the next the next one's that eight, eight, eight way no the fatal four way tag team match <laughs> Yeah, that was all right. I don't know. I kind of wasn't expecting uh, Bianca and Jade to keep the titles, to be honest. I thought it was going to go to EO Sky. Uh, oh, I know. I, I, know. I love those two. Ah! Yeah, I know. EO's hilarious. And then Kyrie's just a menace. 
I'll never forget when she got busted up, and I, I don't even remember what match that was in, but she got busted up real bad, and was bleeding, and she just kept fighting through it. That mm-hmm. was, she earned my respect in that match. Oh, yeah. Did you see by the end of that match, all the just the, all the jewels and stuff from their outfits were just all <laughs> over the frame? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure that's the one thing the women hate about, you know, wrestling over in reality. Is oh, that's what I said. Body suits they got to wear. Yeah, I know. I noticed that the, the second I was like, uh oh, Jade Cargill's uh, arms are covered up. I'm like, I yep. guess they're going to cover up. I'm surprised her thing doesn't, like, when she flexes, just bust over. Oh, yeah. Like, that's just... probably where her things were freaking busting off from. She's built like a statue. Rosa. 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 NXT girls are strong. <laughs> yeah, they got some good moves, too. Well, no, I was well, surprised. What was that, Lash Legend? I mean, she's as big as Cargo. Yeah, she is. It, and she got a good name, too. I, it, it, mm. it looks like they might build her up. That's why I was like, I was like, I was like, really? Are some, I don't, I don't want to, some jobbers from NXT going to take the titles? But I, <laughs> I know, I was surprised. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, are they going to sneak them in to steal them, or are they just, you know, there to be pinned? What's kind of yeah. going on here? Because so. I mean, that was a big stage for them, you know. Yeah, crown right. jewel. Yeah, yeah, it's a big trip. I mean, that's out of the country. I mean, it's a big match for title shot. So, absolutely, lots of eyes on you. <laughs> and then uh, Piper Niven and Chelsea Green. <laughs> Yeah, there's something else that tag team. Mm. <laughs> I never know how to feel about them. I always like. There's times where I think they're cringe, and then there's times where I do like. I'm like, okay, they're pretty funny, and you know, I, I like. You know, it makes sense. <laughs> did, did you watch SmackDown last night? <laughs> yeah, I did. They were dressed like. Did you notice they were dressed like Wolverine and Deadpool? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that's what I mean. They always bring like a good like aspect of comedy into it. Like oh, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes it's a little overboard, but I, I do like it. I think it's funny. Oh, we were still calling we're still calling Chelsea Green Dumpster Girl. That's what I was just about to bring up. That was one of my favorite things they've done. <laughs> that know. match was pretty hilarious. <laughs> I know they were making fun of her for at least a week or two after that. They're like, oh, yeah. smell. Oh, they're stinky. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Good stuff. Oh yeah, at one point they were just everyone was just beating on Chelsea Green in that match. And I like that she kinda took it too and like played onto it. That was hilarious. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I thought if anyone could uh, take those titles, it was yeah, it would have been damage control. Yeah, absolutely. I wonder if uh, I'm surprised because they haven't been on top for a while. They were put, they had a decent push, you know, as champs, and you know, Sky is the champ, and they haven't done anything since they've really came over to Raw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm think I'm thinking they're they're due here soon, but uh, but yeah, yeah maybe Survivor uh, Series. But yeah, Bianca Bell and Jade Cargill, I think they're keeping those titles for a while. Yeah. They're going to be carrying them for a while. I'm surprised they lost them as early as they did when they first originally won them. Oh, yeah. So they're probably making up for that. <laughs> but I am glad to get them off of those Isla Dawn or whoever those were. I didn't like those. Ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I was glad that that reigns over. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is it? I, it's, I told Luca the one time uh, they came out. I said, I'm like, why? The Elbow Fire looks like she dresses like a witch half the time. Yeah, she might be a witch. <laughs> she mm. probably got there on her broom. Dark magic, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I love how the 11 year old is the most mature one in the room I know I know hey we're in a different world now that's right that's right these kids grow up fast yeah for real hey I remember when the, I remember when the job was your age for real dude swanton's off my bed <laughs> he was looked like KO <laughs> He had all the figures. Oh, yeah. Oh, this one's bouncing off his bed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I used to uh, cut up my own uh, Jeff Hardy arm sleeves. See? Yeah, I did it. I mean, I did it all. Uh, okay, OTC. What's the uh, what's the next match? I got my finger up right now acknowledging you. <laughs> Just can't see it. My camera's broke. Seth Rollins and... Oh, Seth, R- Seth Rollins and Big Bronson Reed. <laughs> yeah, that match is pretty, pretty mm. nuts. I'm surprised they had Seth win. If I'm being honest. Oh, really? I thought he was. I thought he was gonna. Uh, I thought he was only doing it kind of to push Bronson Reed a little bit, but maybe they'll carry on this uh, this rivalry. Because like the way he walked up, I I like how he's like, yeah, you try me again, you're gonna get the same result. I'll make you famous. <laughs> exactly. I, so I th- might keep it going. I thought this was gonna. This was the the, the way the Kevin Owens Randy Orton match. I thought this was that's why this one was gonna go because they started. Then they started outside the ring. I'm like, are they even not going to go in the ring? Are they just going to start fighting like For in the parking lot again and stuff? Across yeah. the stadium. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, when he at the end when 
Reed was like waving him back in. I did think they were going to go at it again and like extend the match out a little bit longer. So that's why I was like, okay, I'm like, are they going to keep this going or is that the end of this? I was, so I was a little surprised about that match. That ending was nuts though. Off oh yeah. Road. Oh that yeah. That's crazy. Well, I mean, yeah, you got you got to watch Big Bronson Reed. I mean, remember that that uh, stuff with Braun Strowman? I mean, through walls, he crushes him <laughs> on top of a car. I mean, I would, when he murdered our truth basically on Monday Night Raw, and <laughs> yeah, I mean, he did it to Rollins too, but I mean, truth didn't deserve that. Mark, uh, that was a best um, best match ever. That was that was a great match. I mean, they did some of uh, one of the probably the most you know thoughtful finishers and moves that you know of the night, like different like Rollins always is doing some crazy moves off the top ropes and creative different things like, i still won't forget that stomp he did on reed's head off the stairs yes yeah that was so savage what do i mean when a guy's that big you got it yeah you got to be right he's a yeah. monster <laughs> gotta do some extra things yeah okay <laughs> yeah yeah your aunt's in there she doesn't watch every episode she's like is Miz still raw or something we're like yeah he's got a target on his back from the wide six <laughs> I was just about to bring up how I was so happy to see Truth uh, yes. slap him across the face last week and yes. not just be back buddies with him. <laughs> <laughs> Let the wide six handle him. Good luck, buddy. I know. I'm like, that is the greatest. But uh, I, 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 I kind of like they went after Miz, but I'm kind of sad that they're still not going after American Maid. I know. Gable needs to get his, uh, yes. get his work in. <laughs> 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 well, that's what I told him. I said, there's no way it would happen, but I would just love for the White Six to come out somewhere at Crown Jewel. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping they kind of would. I mean, that, that would have been cool for them to experience that. Oh, that would have been the greatest. The lights go out. So and the lights the, drop out. The, you know, the uh, flashlights come on. <laughs> they just start attacking Kevin Owens or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. He might be next. He, he might. Because he, he don't got no friends over there now. It's usually the people who turns on the ones closest to him. God, <laughs> God when, they took, when they took out... Uh, Adam Pierce, I'm like, they called us back up, back up. <laughs> I, I was surprised they didn't eventually get to him. I was surprised about that. Put him uh, through a table or something. <laughs> mm, but yeah, oh yeah, that, but yeah, they, uh, yeah, Seth Rollins and Big Bronson we, Reed was crazy, which you knew it was good. Yeah, that was uh, an insane match. I'm surprised they didn't do any uh, cage matches or uh, like they did right. for, like they did for CM Punk and uh, Drew McIntyre. <laughs> Yeah, that was still one of the greatest matches of the year. You haven't seen either one of them since. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, they deserve it for real. I mean, mm. they put their absolute. Ball- I mean, Drew, Drew literally had how many stitches in his head? That was a real shot. That was some real blood. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, like oh, fourteen, I think. Yeah, it's, and I think there were staples. I don't even think there were stitches. So, <laughs> like, oh yeah, I'm good on that. I'd be, you know, taking my vacation as well. Oh yeah, or beating each other <laughs> with like toolboxes and pulling tools out. Yeah. <laughs> Give me my workers call. <laughs> and uh, that my chain. Oh, yeah. oh the chain, that, yeah. The chain knee, you know, STFU or what yeah, that was crazy, right to the face. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to top that match. No, I know, I know. And then they oh, before that they did that strap match. Yeah, see, I, I love CM Punk because he brings back all those crazy matches. Yeah. Even for his age, like he's still willing to, you know, go all out in them. Yeah, it's he's a beast. I'm glad he's back to. Oh yeah, I mean that's that's how you get big. You got to do the the, the big the big event. You got to get to do big stuff right. like that. You got to have the that's talk. That's made WWE WWE. So mm-hmm. that's what you know is bringing it back in terms of you know because it had a couple of years where it was down, and that you know this is those are the matches that's bringing it back. That CM Punk match alone probably you know brought a lot of old fans back. Yeah, because they were saying, I mean, they're saying WWE's like um, they're like an all time pop popular high. Yeah. Now. Oh, yeah, especially with Netflix. I mean, only a oh, yeah. month away. It's like two months away now. That's going to be nuts, Netflix, because they, they're they really not going to have to censor old. themselves. Exactly, right. Yeah, we're going to see a whole new product come uh, they, won't, they, won't, they, they won't have to censor when the audience starts chanting bad words, huh? <laughs> when Dom comes out every single time. <laughs> I know. You're hear the real chance. He, 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 he doesn't even have to be the one in the ring, and they're still yelling, Dom, you suck. Dom, you <laughs> For real. suck. He could be on the Videotron in a car, mm. and they're booing, they're booing him out of the stadium. What, what night Jack's call him? Dirt, dirty cockroach today. <laughs> dirty cockroach. <laughs> yeah, that uh, threw my heart for a wrench a little bit, saying, showing uh, when Tippy was like, yeah, I'll take Dom, too. Oh, that's like, night, what yeah. The, what the heck are you wanting that guy for? 
I don't know, man. One or two girls start showing interest, man. They all start showing interest. Yeah, for real. What's the next match? It- <laughs> Nia and Liv. Yeah, that, I knew that. I figured that's where we're at. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I, we, we heard that like, when they announced that match, we were like, holy crap. We were like, the size difference on those two. That's... I know. I mean, it's crazy because I kind of, I mean, I was kind of anticipating it would go this way just because mm-hmm. with the help. I was surprised that uh, they didn't actually have Tiffany cash in there. I know, I know. I mean, actually used the briefcase and cash in on one of them, but it makes sense that she did. I'm kind of mad about Liv won. <laughs> I am too. I agree. I'm, I'm getting kind of tired of the Liv Morgan revenge tour. <laughs> I know. Then they took out Rhea Ripley, man. I love Rhea Ripley. What the... I know. Like, she's going to be out a couple months is what I'm hearing. They, so. they, yeah, they said, like, their orbital eye socket. Yeah. It's... Yeah, it didn't look good. To mm-hmm. be <laughs> going to miss her for sure. Well, I said, I said if uh, whichever one of them won the crown jewel title, could Tiffy have cashed in for the crown jewel title? That would have been sick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Also, that's what I was really hoping was going to happen. So, where I was like, "Oh, watch if Liv wins the title, then Tiffy's gonna cash in and take her uh, her other title." Yeah, right. I was expecting like low key, um, li- or because uh, obviously Liv's got the help, so I was kind of thinking she was gonna win the match. Yeah, but I was thinking that uh, Tiff was gonna come out and act like she was helping Nia, and then actually turn on her and take her title. Yeah, I was kind of yeah, yeah. upset that sh- that didn't happen, but maybe she it's still to- can. She has to own this, own, own do it. She's cashed in yeah. it. She still may. I'm hoping now that uh, obviously the their friendship's kind of you know hooked. It's over with. That that happens here in the next few weeks. Yeah, maybe that'll be uh, so yeah, on the show next couple weeks, or maybe that'll be in Sur- at Survivor Series. Maybe yeah, Tiff will cash in on a couple weeks away. One of them. Maybe uh, yeah, that's the time. I'm hoping. Because I was like, doesn't she have a year? I was like, how long does she still have? Because <laughs> it seems like she's. I mean, I guess it's only been a few, hey. few months, but it seems like she's had that thing forever. Definitely more time than Drew. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of time to play it out what she wants to do with it, so <laughs> as long as hers is more worth it. I feel like she wants to cash in, and I feel like she's going to like ask to keep, keep like the briefcase or something. <laughs> yeah, she might. The guy's still carry it around. I she, like using it as a weapon. That's where she like turns, carries that thing around like a purse. Exactly. Yep, builds her outfit around it. Uh, well, at least, we, yeah, we only got... Uh, yeah, we only got Dom and uh, uh, Michelle, or uh, uh, what's her face? Uh, Raquel. Raquel Rodriguez, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's hard to remember her name when she doesn't say anything. Exactly, exactly. Or have her own theme song or but, anything. Which... <laughs> but we didn't get the rest of Judgment Day. <laughs> I know, I was surprised Damian Priest didn't really uh, make mm, an appearance. Yeah. Like, get yeah. back from Rhea or anything. We didn't get, uh, we didn't get Carlito or... Uh, Finn. Yeah, Finn J. Balor J. Or, uh, or Big Head. Yeah, J.D. McDonough. <laughs> Yeah, I can't stand J.D. McDonough. <laughs> his head is huge. You got so much on his mind. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Wait, wait what'd you say? His head, his, head, his head's so big, yeah. what? He's got so much on his mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh. A whole lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so that was, that, was, that was our women's champion, Liv Morgan. Yeah, it was a great match. Yeah, so, so that's what she even said. She goes, yeah, yeah. She goes, I'm going to shut up now about this. Because, <laughs> again, even if someone takes that title, man, she'll, she'll always be like, I was the first. I was the first. Yeah, right. First and last. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, the one, about the one you're on, a lot on his mind. <laughs> Let it out. <laughs> uh, Oh my lord! But did you hear? Um, yeah, during one of the celebrations, I guess uh, for the Dodgers, one of the fans like blew his hands off with fireworks oh, or I'm something. I'm not even gonna lie. I saw that video oh. last night and actually like made me sick. I know, I know. Oh my goodness, it was crazy. I mean, how can you be that dumb though? Yeah, it's like everyone don't don't you know you're gonna light this stuff, let it go, don't hold right, it. Right, like yeah, th- throw it as far away, light it quick, like run away, like, whatever. Wait, like. <laughs> I don't. I didn't. Yeah. I didn't see it, but I guess Christian. Did. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did. I saw it on X. No. Oh, yeah, oh. I'm really just scrolling. I thought it was like a joke, and then and, I was like, okay, yep, there it is. And of course, nice. the internet. And of course, the internet was merciless because I told him. I saw one comment. Someone said, "Oh, they caught him red-handed." <laughs> <laughs> they did. They definitely did. We won't be launching fireworks for a while. No. You need a right-hand man. Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah, I wouldn't go over the fireworks the rest of my life. Yeah, I'm not touching them. I hate Fourth of July. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, but yeah, then the uh, of course that next one like, we already talked about it, but the Kevin Owens Randy Orton match. Yeah, went a little out of order there, but yeah, that match was. Uh, I mean, how, well, how well, match. Happen? I don't think the bell ever. <laughs> I guess yeah. I mean we. Didn't really talk too much about the match. I guess we didn't go too much on where. <laughs> yeah, I mean, again, talk just like, extracurriculars. They just started pounding on each other, and then the ref got it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Adam Pierce got it. Everybody could get a piece. They didn't. Uh, they didn't play pick no favorites. They said you can get some, you can get some, you can mm. get some. Everybody can get a piece. Oh. Uh. And then uh, I forget which matches, but again, I mean, of course, a couple of people went for the announce table. I think was it this match? Uh, someone even went for the uh, the Saudi announcers announce table. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I think did it. I don't think any announce tables actually did they actually break? To they didn't break. Those. No, not I, say, I didn't think anybody actually went through one, <clears throat> but, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. There was one, no tables that were broken in the making of this event. Exactly. Oh, what was it? That was it. The uh, Oh. oh, hey, look, it's Hannah's mom. Hey, turtle. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, was it the uh, Brig Bronson Reed, uh, Braun Strowman, one of their, was it Was it that one where the ring broke when they uh, yeah, hit the ring? Yeah, that was yeah. crazy. <laughs> All the turnbuckles. Just I mean, you have two <laughs> monsters fight. <laughs> well, like yeah, I mean, stadium. two guys over 300 pounds. I mean, it was a what? The grand total, what, they hit said like 700-some pounds? Yeah, literally. I that would was, not want to be the ref in that, that match. Like a, a fifth time. That was like the fifth time it's broke ever. <laughs> yeah, the only time I can think of recently that it broke was when uh, Brock Lesnar tore it up with the tractor <laughs> against yeah. Roman. <laughs> I think that was SummerSlam. That was nuts. And again, Half the stadium couldn't even see what was happening. Speaking of seeing, uh, like, but um, no. Uh, speaking of seeing, I uh, like I, I don't know why for every match they don't do those ref cams. They need to. They do. They absolutely need to. Those are awesome. I like that. I like you know you like that view. You can, you can get like right. really close play by I mean, VIP like, access. Mm-hmm. And it's not hard. It's a small little camera. I mean, it's not like it's intruding his vision. It's all right on the side of his glasses. Yeah, it was just like GoPro or whatever. Yeah, just wearing all your little headband or whatever. Yeah, they definitely need to do that. Uh, at least in the pay- obviously not every you know Monday and Friday night. Yeah, and stuff, but. <laughs> Pay-per-views, every match you most definitely have that. Oh, yeah. I can see that being extra, yeah, just to watch it, you know, rough, a, yeah. com- a, a continuous stream. Yeah, absolutely. I'm surprised they don't do something like ESPN does with, like, the separate stream with, like, the different angles. Different yeah. Camera angles or something. That'd be cool. Oh, yeah, they could do that in NFL, too. Which they do on Amazon. When they <laughs> do it on Thursday nights, they have that uh, Amazon Prime view. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So funny you said pay-per-view. Do you know what pay-per-view is? I think in the past... Before we had streaming, you would have to like they'd have cable channels where you would like tonight if we watch Crown Jewel, we would have had to pay it like one price just to watch Crown Jewel tonight. Today, yeah, it's like on cable. Yeah, like everybody's watching it. It's like the Super Bowl, but to watch it, you have to pay. Like we would have to had get to, in. Yeah, we would have had to pay direct TV, like what, just like twenty, thirty, forty, whatever. But just to watch, I think it used to be like sixty bucks. It was crazy. I was gonna say it, 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 it right, was never enough. You get yeah. to watch him as a kid. Mm-hmm. It was he doesn't know because like when I was younger. You know, his age, and I was, you know, in my big WWE days, I didn't get to see the what happened in the pay-per-views until Monday night. They'd show the replays because, or, and they had WWE.com, which back then was way different. They'd have, like, pictures and, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes videos and what would happen, but I would not get to, you know, see live updates or what was happening because you'd literally have to be pay 60 bucks to watch the pay-per-views back then. 60 bucks? It was, I'm pretty sure, no less than 60 bucks. I mean, yeah, it went up because like, they used to do that with, like, boxing matches, too, and yeah. stuff. Yeah. They'll do sometimes actually do that with boxing. Oh, uh, look. Oh, H- Hannah said, hi, Luca. Yeah. <laughs> Famous. <laughs> He's fit. Well, yeah. I mean, when you're the OTC. You're the OTC. <laughs> you were, yeah, the original Turk chief, yeah. <laughs> hey. But... <laughs> But yeah, yeah, a lot cheaper now to pay for a Peacock subscription, huh? I know, right? I was gonna say you get a lot more. I was gonna say, yeah, your mom wasn't paying for that back in the day. <laughs> Heck no! The only time I was watching that is if I maybe snuck the credit card. <laughs> <laughs> so I wouldn't recommend. I got in trouble big time for that. But I'm sure you did. Live. <laughs> uh, just hear the profanity coming out of your aunt's mouth right now, Luke. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey, yeah, think about it. Pre-WrestleMania back then. I mean, <laughs> yeah, you go. 
You gotta do what you gotta do. Come on, Ma. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> thought it was mine. I thought it was mine. <laughs> He's probably like 12. Yeah, I thought it was my credit card. <laughs> uh, Alright, so. We got. Oh, yeah, the three way. L.A. Knight, uh, Carmelo Hayes, and uh, Andrade. <laughs> Let me talk to you. Yeah, L.A. You know what? I t- I t- I, t- I told your aunt. She goes, "Who's winning?" I said, "L.A. Knight is winning." I. Oh yeah, absolutely. Especially too when the other two were having a straight up duel between each other. It's like it, it isn't going to end with one of them winning the championship over L.A. Knight. No. <laughs> like they got their own feud. They still got to settle. I'm back. I'm back. I'm on BFT at Everton. <laughs> oh my, deadly. <laughs> Hey, Carmelo Hayes has been balling since he's been on LXT. That uh, been up from NXT, though. I'm surprised he hasn't got a. Uh, not that I think he'll carry, you know, have a long reign, but I'm surprised he hasn't had a title, actual title win. Like, uh, what's his name? Why can't I remember his name now? <laughs> the Beast. Uh, great. Wow. Dude who, who, from Monday Night Raw. He's the Intercontinental Championship. I'm totally having a mind fork. I'm tired. Oh, what's his name? Ron Breaker. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, oh, Braun Breaker, yeah. I don't know why I could not remember his name all of a sudden, because he's literally on every week. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised Carmelo hasn't gotten like a title run, kind of like him. Not that I think it'll ever be over LA Knight, but he's been balling since, so uh, might be coming soon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Luca was like, are, are they, you know, are Andrade and Carmelo Hayes going to continue their their uh, their series? Because, you know, g- uh, <laughs> Game 7, if you will, got kind of got... Uh... Yeah. No, they, they're one of them run, won that one. <laughs> Exactly right. I think it does. I think it continues probably maybe till the next pay-per-view, honestly. <laughs> oh, I love LA Knight with that spe- way as the special ref in that. <laughs> I know how he wore the belt the whole time, too. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, you and I were talking on Halloween. I mean, just just the uh, promos that LA Knight cuts, you know, it's just Oh, they're always great. Mm. They're always cinema. <laughs> I'll gotcha. never forget actually with Carmelo Hayes when he and he called uh, L.A. Knight Logan Paul. Oh. <laughs> <Remember> that? <laughs> He's like, yeah, well, that's not gonna happen because I'm. Uh, <laughs> or, or, yeah, no, that was good. I don't know if you watched the after show. They got their interview in L.A. Knight. Yeah, he's just like, he's like, he's like, yeah, these jobbers aren't gonna get, you know. I gotta run it back. I gotta see that tonight. Oh I yeah, yeah. Cr- I usually watch it through, but like I said, that early start time had me all jammed up today. Mm. Yeah, I think they they even said uh, Survivor Series starts. Was it like six next? Like, Survivor. Yeah, the next one, isn't it? Yeah. War Games. Yeah. Wait, when six? I thought he said six o'clock when it. Hey, that's good for me. That sounds that sounds good, but. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. probably that's probably right. It probably won't be matches at six, but like their pregame coverage maybe, and maybe all that, or like something. Stuff. Yeah. Hey, who knows? But either way, that's better than one. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's the thirtieth. I think it's like yeah, the Saturday after Thanksgiving. So. Oh, that's perfect. Mm-hmm. You got Thanksgiving food, Black Friday, Survivor Series. <laughs> yeah. Can't beat that. Uh, but yeah, everybody was saying. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> this new belt's pretty sick. Hey, Christian, look at this. Let me talk to you. Yeah. Hey, I like that. <laughs> I need to get an LA Night shirt. I got a, uh action figure of his on the way. Mm. Been waiting on it. Nice. Lucas got one. Do you? Yeah. LA Night one? Yeah, LA. They're hard to find, honestly. I search for action figures like I search for cards now. Look at his shirt. Yeet. <laughs> Yeet. I need the Yeet shirt, too. I got a real nice. I just found a sick uh, Jey Uso figure. Oh, nice. At Best Buy, actually. That's what so. you need, Jey Uso, yeah. Yeah, that's sick. What? <laughs> uh, so, Yeet. Yeah, we're going to end of December. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to go to that, too, with my one buddy. So, I'll probably hopefully I see you guys there. Yeah, nice. That'll be my first like live show. I've never yeah, been like that. I've never been to a live thing. We I'm definitely excited for that. Yeet, yeet. I think JB getting a big pop for real. He he's oh, always yeah. the crowds going crazy. Oh yeah, you see that that arena go today. I love how he always enters from the crowd too. Yes, Coming from Springs the top the down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeet. Yeet. <laughs> yeah, we got good seats. I think we're on the floor. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing because that. Like I said, them live shows, they, you know, they do a little bit more from what I've heard. I've always seen, like, videos and clips, and they they can do a little bit more than they can, obviously, on TV, so. Yeah. If you're on the floor, it'll be real cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those holiday tour things. Do they televise those or no? I don't think so. 
I don't think they televise. Like they may record them, but mm. I don't. They don't actually put them on TV. Yeah, hmm. no. Maybe they'll go to Peacock. Who knows? Oh, I did, hope. I've always wanted yeah. to see them. And then you see in December they're doing like a Saturday. They're doing like a Saturday night special because. Yeah, I've been here. Is that so? Is that like a pay per view or what? No, I think it's. I think it's just going to be on NBC. I think maybe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I've, always, I've been trying to figure out what exactly because I've said I didn't watch way back then when they actually did do those. Oh yeah, they they did. Yeah, they did do, do those Saturday night. I, I, I know for a while they did like really late ones. They they do them. I think like after Saturday Night Live. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm excited. I've been I've been hearing about that for a while. Yeah, I'm excited that because I remember trying to so close. I remember trying to stay up watching those. With my dad and I always fall asleep. <laughs> right, so that's the problem with those things. Late, you, you always want to watch them, and you never can. Yeah, exactly. Right uh, all right, and of course, uh, the big one, yeah, the uh, Cody Rhodes and Gunther, or Gunther. Gunther, Gunther, same thing. Gunther, Gunther. I was surprised. That, I mean, again, I think it was pre-recorded, of course, but uh, that they did that tag team match last night. Yeah, me too. That's. That's one of those matches you'll look back on, you know, when we're down the road and be like, wow, that's a, that's a big match to have on just like a Friday night. <laughs> well, I think they were trying to add fuel to the fire for Crown Joel because, you know, Gunther giving them the sleeper hold. and Yeah, right. They, I mean, yeah, they kind of had to add some fuel. Mm. I was surprised to see how they were going to have this match kind of play out with two, you know, big dogs like that mm. going at it. You know, it's hard to have either one of them pin each other. So, yeah, I was excited to see how they had it end. But yeah, what it's like Gunther, man. He's he's not like a big, you know, like a, you know, flying through the air and not, you know, he's a big uh, grapple guy, you know. Right, yeah. Pin, he's you know. just to hit you in the mouth and keep hitting you in the mouth until you can't take it anymore. Submission hold, sleeper hold. Yeah. 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 Get you to sleep. Giving you the crap. <laughs> just out, man, yeah. Uh, but, but not tonight, not on Cody. Nope, 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 nope. Got to, took a couple Cody, a uh, couple crossroads and. I'm surprised they uh, ended with like the handshake you know Guther usually yeah. likes to just beat him up or you know not accept the feet so well that was good to see but, well, I, mean, I think gunther respects talent and again uh, right like, i mean they said i mean cody's the first one in his family to uh win a tight so- solo title uh outside the united states oh wow mm-hmm. i didn't even I miss that that's, yeah 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 I mean, he's got a pretty uh you know deep wrestling family too so that's pretty pretty big when you think about it yep now he's got that ring now he's got that super boring. Mm-hmm. For real, got some bling. Mm-hmm. And that was a great like a- 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 ending, Koei Cutter, in a vat, in a whatever vat was. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> then Gunther tried to put him in another sleeper hole, and yeah, Cody just flipped him over and just rolled it up, <laughs> locked him down. <laughs> That's why I'm, sometimes them sleeper holds, yeah, they, they'll, they'll they'll backfire on you. I know, because like, he kept going to it, so it's like, you know, Cody right. was coming. Like, you're going to learn, yeah. I mean, work the first time, but if you ain't put him out, they're going to be able to counter it. <laughs> He's the undisputed champ. I figured he was too banged up, but I'm like, oh, I'm like, please don't let Kevin Owens come out here. Oh, my gosh. Right. Although, I don't, I don't know, it almost seems like he's done with Cody. It almost seems like, yeah, now his whole focus is on Randy Orton. Right. I really do think uh, he's going to move to Sami Zayn now. Oh, man. Because they were like brothers, yeah. best friends, and... I mean, he went and helped Roman Reigns out. So, I mean, it's more Jey Uso, but, I mean, he still was there. And especially, too, now, if if what my other prediction kind of, like, it does play out to Survivor Series where it's a 4v4, then he's literally going to be tag teaming with Roman. And maybe uh, maybe KO waits till Survivor Series and just takes out, you know, Sami Zayn <laughs> in that match or something. But that'll be interesting. Or maybe he teams with Solo. Who knows? Because he oh. only really had a beef with Roman. So... I mean, I'm I excited to see where that plays out. I mean, I could see him just going down a hit list, and like we said, I hope then the Wyatt Six would maybe come out. <laughs> yeah, right. Make their way over to him. Mm. Although I like the people they've been going after. <laughs> Me too. I've definitely had a good hit list. Although, like I said, Chad Gable, I don't think they need to go Yeah, back I don't to think they uh, were finished with him. Mm. <laughs> they need to get back to business. Uh, oh, my Lord. Did you see, uh, what is that, the uh, Alpha Academy? Uh, on Halloween, what's her face? She was just yes. wearing, wearing two championship belts. Undefeated. <laughs> she was replaying uh, the the Dudley Boys. Oh yeah, OG, the OG from back. That was an undefeated costume. But yeah, I mean, if you didn't see that, <clears throat> all the after stuff, you should watch it because yeah, they had like a big ceremony with Cody and Liv Morgan. You know, I saw a little bit of that, little bit of that celebration. I didn't know if you meant that or the uh, 
Because they normally do the per, like post press conferences or whatever. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't, I didn't see that. They really didn't do the press conferences. They were they, oh they didn't do it. Yeah, they just okay. did like interviews with like uh, Liv Morgan, L.A. Knight. Uh, I don't remember if they did anybody else, but uh, oh, but they did catch uh, Kevin Owens backstage. He was like laying on top of a crate. And he was basically like, "Yeah, I think I broke my ribs." <laughs> and then, and uh, what's her face? Uh, she was like, "Oh, you should go see uh, one of the trainers." He's like, "I don't trust anybody here." He's. <laughs> <laughs> it was always he's always something else. I know he's unhinged. <laughs> all right, so all right, boys. Uh, any final thoughts on the crown jewel? I thought it was great. The belts are sweet. It's a shame we won't get to see them ever again now because they're leaving them there. <laughs> I mean, I could see that. I mean, they, I'm sure they'll t- have video footage. I wonder if they might have like a 24 hour like streaming camera on them or something. Or yeah, they probably have something. They're big titles. Mm-hmm. Mean, we'll, we'll see in 2025 Crown Jewel probably. Yeah, they'll probably. Take, yeah, they'll run take, it back. They'll take them out for like 10 minutes. Uh, give them to the new champs and then put them back in. Yeah, exactly. Give him a ring. All right, so, okay, here's a question. Do you boys think, uh, are they going to do champ first champ again next year, or do they just do that for the first year? Like, next year, is, like, Cody going to have to defend his against some somebody else, and it doesn't have to be a champ, and same with Liv? It's a good question, because I am excited to see how it kind of plays out, because it's going to be hard to replicate, you know, keeping the same champion every year and then having him defend that, you mm. know, crown jewel championship, because people get old, people leave the company, people get hurt. So, like, if Cody gets hurt next year, he retires, which he won't. But if he does, then then what? The title's technically vacant. How are you? So, I don't know if they're going to have a tournament and two people will compete for the title each year or champion versus champion just to keep it easy. But I'm excited to see how that plays out. That's going to be a tough one to replicate. I, I, I'd say champ versus champ, but... Uh, yeah, but that's I'm probably going to be the easiest. But, but, but here's what I do. I want, like... I will. I'm like last year's crown jewel champion and the two champions. Yeah, I mean either way, it's got to be because with a title like that, you're gonna have to have some pretty big dogs going at it. So it probably will be champion versus champion. That's probably the most you know smart. Oh um, uh, after a thing, bear. <laughs> They uh, announced on Raw, mm, they'll have, they'll have like, what, like Sheamus, Damian Priest, and Dominic, <laughs> and who else? Oh, yeah, for the contenders. for uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Dominic. Yeah, he did be Priest. Yeah, it's Dom, it's Priest, it's Sammy. Is it, was it Sammy Zane? No. No, 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 Sheamus. Sheamus, that's and right. I don't know who else. Oh, yeah, Sheamus was one of the three commentators that were, uh, you know, before the, before the thing started. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Priest is going to uh, want his fight against Gunther now. Oh, that's yeah. Over. That's what I was going to say. Who's going who's gonna to take that title away from Gunther eventually? Is it going to be Damian Priest? Uh, I think uh, Bronson Reed wants to work his way up uh, through the ranks there. Uh, can Seth Rollins? He can't challenge. Oh, wait. Yeah, he can because that was against Priest. Surprise. I was going to say, I'm surprised Rollins hasn't been making a big, like, stink about winning a title recently he's a guy who i feel mm. like always wants to have a title so well he'll go for a title match and you know and they'll be like oh no are you ready he's like i just beat bronson reed <laughs> yep so he might be coming i feel like him and damian priest might beef over who gets the next title shot versus maybe and, then, and one day is uh la knight gonna go from u.s champion is he gonna try for uh i think his time's coming i mean he's one of the biggest stars biggest pops he's all in all the commercials you know and he Next got week. good promos. Beating the brakes <laughs> off everybody. It. Yeah. Right. Right. Seth, oh, here we go. Yeah. Seth Rollins, Damian Priest, <laughs> Dominic, and Sheamus. <laughs> <laughs> so Dominic, Damian Priest, yeah, Sheamus, and Seth Rollins in a full So what? between Seth Rollins and Damian Priest, basically. No. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. They ain't having Dominic win the I'm world a, championship yet. I'm a, I'm a, maybe Sheamus. Do you imagine, though, if they do have, like, Liv Morgan help Dom win the World Heavyweight Championship? Well, why don't they turn it around and put her in a shark cage this time? For, please. <laughs> <laughs> or no, uh, Raquel Rodriguez. Put them both in and leave them there. <laughs> <laughs> Till mommy's back. Yeah. If, uh, if uh, Dom actually wins a title, he would be booed, like, forever. I mean, I... Uh... I can see it sadly happening. I didn't think Liv would keep winning this much, but 
that bloodline or that judgment day help, I mean, can get you far. <laughs> well, so, well, yeah, well, I said I was waiting for uh, Rhea Ripley to come out today and, you know, to interfere in that in that or with something. An eye patch. Hey, well, yeah, well, th- well, these two are like, well, she was beat down. I'm like, that has never stopped her from coming out with like on right. cr- crutches before she came out on beating, crutches, beating yeah. on cr- with her crutch and stuff. She would have beat her up with one arm and she didn't tear her elbow. Oh, yeah, I was down. waiting for the eye patch or yeah. just like a big bandage on one side. For <laughs> Maybe Monday, hopefully, because if she's actually out for a couple months again after just being out a couple months, yeah. it's like, come on, you're a little upset. Oh yeah, Cause, oh man, you know Liv's gonna be rubbing that that crown jewel oh, on yeah. her face, and no one's gonna be able to stop her. Mm-mm. I don't know. I just have a feeling there's gonna be uh, more. Uh, there's gonna be bigger issues with Nia Jax and uh, Tiffy. Oh yeah, that's gonna be interesting to see how that plays out. Mm-hmm. I mean, Tiffy needs to whoop whoop her whoop her butt. You know the way she's been getting treated by Nia, the talking to her like she's like her pet. Might be time to cash in. Uh, it's Tiffy time. <laughs> 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 it is time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tiffany needs uh, her, her time to shine. Hey, she's earned it. That's right. All right. So, all right. Final. Th- any other final thoughts, boys? I'm excited for Survivor Series. Yes. Build up a lot with uh with tonight or I guess this afternoon. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but, well, yeah, again, no, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, they they always want to go. They go what? Get, they go to Saudi Arabia once a year now, right? I, I thought so, but it felt like they were just they just were at Saudi Arabia recently. But I guess time's just going quick. Yeah. Yeah, they were. Well, yeah. And, and like, what was, was it? May? Yeah, see, what were they? I, I was gonna say, yeah, were there just a couple months ago. Yeah, for but the night of champions. Night of champions, yeah. So. Yeah. So. Yeah. Maybe well, it's twice a year. Yeah, I mean they 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 want to do good over there because there's a lot of money over there. That's, oh yeah. That's, a, that's oil money over there. Belts. Yeah. <laughs> Who do you think paid for those belts? That's why they leave yeah. the country, yeah. All those oil sheiks and stuff, yeah. Cases, yeah. Security. Mm. Triple H. Triple H looking old. He's, he's getting up there for sure. Mm. He's been cooking, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's absolutely been cooking. <laughs> I love for him and Randy Orton. He's like, he's like, he's like, no, 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 don't go after Kevin Owens. And he's like, no, you don't know what you're asking for. He's like, all right. right. See, I'm not protecting Kale. I'm protecting you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you put on the shelf. Like, you wouldn't think Kevin Owens, I mean, compared to, like, size-wise with Randy Orton, you wouldn't think he's that dangerous. But, again, he's just, he's nuts. He, you know, you don't care. Right, you just never know what he's going to do. I mean, we see it. He leaped. He, I mean, he didn't care. He broke his ribs. He leaped off that railing. And... Right. He'll put his body through anything. I still remember when they were in Pittsburgh for, what was it, Fast Lane. I don't know if you guys were watching back then, because that was about a year ago now. But, I mean, he jumped. That was in PPG Paints Arena. <laughs> Climbed up, like, in the stands, like, <laughs> into the, like, it was insane. And, like, off, it was probably, like, 20 feet in the air through a table. Oh. So, in a Penn's jersey. <laughs> in a Penguin's jersey. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty sick. Oh, man. But, yeah. So, yeah, hopefully, yeah. So, we'll, we'll hopefully, we'll, we'll do this again for uh, Survivor yeah. Series. Yeah. See Four where uh, this, uh, all these matches take us. Hopefully, we can see, uh, hopefully by then we can see Christian's pretty face, huh? Yeah, right. Hopefully this because I got a nice camera there. I just haven't had it plugged in for months. So I probably need to update the software. Oh, maybe, so, yeah. Cause I, I thought it was just not working. Then I'm like, oh, it's not plugged in. And I'm like, well, how long has this not been plugged in for? Had to be in months. Yeah, I don't <laughs> use my camera too much. So. Oh, man. Plenty of time to fix it for next time, though. All right, so before we leave, Christian, is there anything you want to promote? Any social media or uh, um, got anything going on? <laughs> Nothing right now. I have a uh, TikTok, but I, th- I don't even know the name of it. So I'll get oh, that. Oh, man. Next time. I haven't posted on that in months. So, <laughs> but maybe for next time, I'll start posting WWE clips or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, yeah. Get, get some plugs if you want to do some plugs. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to. Other, uh, other than that, I just have all my personals, which I think are private. So, <laughs> you want CGN6? <laughs> Check me out. <laughs> All you cute ladies in your twenties, yeah, that's uh. Yep, hit me up. <laughs> Under Survivor Series, I uh, I um, uh, I want to see uh, Orin tag tag to a cage match. <laughs> we might. We're hell in a cell. That'd be so sick. Yeah, we need something. We're like a 
falls count anywhere, and they're just wrestling all through the arena. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, oh, or get extreme rules or something. I quit. Oh, yeah. Or, like, when they just bring out, like, the shopping cart, which is, like, you know, the trash cans and the bags. Do another trash, <laughs> yeah, right, do another trash match. Or, 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 casket match, ambulance. Oh, yeah, did, right. you, did you, have you been watching NXT? They did an ambulance match. <laughs> I've seen that. That was pretty crazy. I normally don't watch NXT, but I watch, like, the highlights. Mm. And that was, that was nuts. I've actually said just recently, because that's where Shawn Michaels has been. He makes, you know, the matches and stuff over there. And he's been cooking. From what I can oh, see, yeah. so I'm like, yeah, I'm going to have to start watching the next scene now, too. Because, I mean, it's D-Generation X running running uh, WWE mm. now. So, yeah, I mean, they're cooking. Yeah, they've been doing stuff like that. And every day, you know, it seems like almost every week now, someone from WWE showing up. Yeah, and even one of the superstars. I forget who it was exactly. I think, to be honest, I think it was Cody Rhodes. He said, uh, NXC is not even developmental anymore. I mean, they're so... <laughs> You know, they're so good down there, the, the matches they put on, the storylines, you know, the personalities where it's really not even developmental anymore. They got stars on their own. So that they actually just created that. It's an actual WWE developmental program. Yeah. Um, I forget what it's called, but that'll kind of help because it is. It's, they got so many stars. They're cooking so well. It's doing so well that I mean, they have stars left and right. I mean, I mean, yeah, we had a tag team in uh, Crown Jewel this, you know, today, so. Yeah, right. Exactly. Uh, so. we, like, we like Trick Williams, right? <laughs> yeah, whoop that trick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. They got stu- they got stars all over the place. Mm-hmm. Even have a wrestler named Mika. <gasps> they got a fish. <laughs> <laughs> the Disney movie. <laughs> oh, there's so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got a whole movie named after you. That's right, boy. All right. So, yeah. Yeah, so... And like I said, uh, everyone, we should be back. Uh, well, not even a month because it's like, I think it's November thirtieth. Yeah, so a month, yeah, up three weeks. Yeah, it's Saturday after Thanksgiving, I believe it is. But uh, yeah, I mean, if you have any comments or anything, uh, yeah, kids, uh, email capes and lunatics at gmail dot com or call the voicemail six one four three eight two two seven three seven. That's six one four thirty eight capes. And uh, again, you can find episodes, social media, shut up, merchandise. <laughs> And of course, we have a Patreon uh, with uh, exclusive uh, bonus episodes. So you can find that. Uh, subscribe at patreon.com slash capes and lunatics and uh, find everything at tubespace.io slash capes and lunatics podcast network. Okay, Star of the Sixth Grade. Do you have any, uh, anything sure. you want to you promote? No. No? <laughs> sure you don't want to promote your fantasy team or something? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Who you got this week, champ? T. Higgins is giving me a aneurysm over here dude back to back weeks <laughs> out getting hurt in practice i'm gonna throw up dude makes me sick man see i'm not into any football or anything you guys should not do a show but <laughs> what do you I, what, I what, would, like, what, just, like what like what the whole time what bet you guys are making this week <laughs> he gets mad when he loses and he doesn't play for money i, I said I, I don't never want to see him if he plays for money because i'm yeah <laughs> He's yeah, ready. He's ready to rip the house up when he when he loses a pretend bet. I mean, did the yeah. Celtics win last night? Yeah. Okay, I was gonna say because he texted me. He said the Celtics lose. I'm gonna crash out. <laughs> <laughs> I said I hope they don't lose because <laughs> he hammered them. I know. I think he. I mean, besides your friends at school, I think you have uh, constant uh, text, uh, sports text with what Christian, probably uh, Pat. Uh, uh, all right, we got the same thing over here. So. <laughs> I was gonna say, if it's not one of his friends, I think he's either texting Trust you about me, sports about or, or my dad. Right I mean, yeah, just it's getting their freaking brakes blown off. It's thirty-one to three right now. I'm gonna <laughs> snap out. <laughs> All right, everyone, come back next month. Uh, and again, yeah, send us your questions, your comments. Uh, All right, till then, yeah. everybody say, "A night, yeah." And if, and if any wrestling and if any uh, superstars want to talk, yeah, let me know. All right, yeah, pop in. Yeah. <laughs>